everybody. Happy New Year. We're back here at the Gathering Place. And for some of you, you may already be well on your way to your New Year's reboot, our detox, our cleanse program. Some of you may still be kind of thinking about what is that detox and cleanse all about? But here at the Gathering Place, we like to call it something different. It's called taking stock. Using this time, the beginning of the year, to start fresh and take stock. Take stock of yourself. What do you need? Take stock of your kitchen. What does your kitchen need? Take stock of friends and family and your support, especially as you're on the cancer journey. Any good detox cleanse program has components of things we take away. You know, no dairy, no wheat, no chocolate, all those good things we made in December. A lot of no's, a lot of taking away, but I want to just use this time this morning to talk to you a little bit about how to nourish ourselves. We'll talk about the stuff to remove later, probably not in the post. Anyhow, what I like about this, this stock recipe, it's from Rebecca Katz. It's called Magic Mineral Broth. Now, Rebecca is a fabulous chef out of San Francisco, and she's written a number of books, one being Cancer Fighting Kitchen and one uh, Bite at a Time. She recently came out with a book on healthy soups. Her Magic Mineral Broth is a perfect start to any soup. It's standalone. You can just drink it on its own. It's like a, it's like a rich tea filled with minerals and antioxidants, and it's just that satisfying, nurturing flavor. It also can be the base for other soups. So I'm going to walk us through the Magic Mineral Broth today and talk a little bit about this restart or this taking stock. So what she starts with is lots of vitamins and minerals in, in vegetables. So this is one time where I'd recommend try to get it organic if you can, because as you can see, with the yams and the sweet potatoes, everything is just washed and quartered. Peels are still on it. Same thing with the carrots. Nicely scrubbed, but I'm using all organic vegetables today. It's a little pricier, but we're worth it. Take these, and if you think about all the nice things, the beta carotene. So there's a lot of cancer-fighting benefits just in the vegetables I put in here to start with. On top of that, I'm going to add some red potatoes. Again, just scrub nicely, put the peels left on. How easy is this? And then a couple things. Let's talk about garlic and onion. We know the garlic and onion family have lots and lots of health benefits. But most of those benefits are right actually in the paper skin and the, the area right next to the outside peel. That's where we get most of the benefit. And if you're like me, half the time I'm in a rush and I'm chopping and cutting and I just, I just remove this and most everything else in a recipe. I'm trying to rethink that for this year. So in this recipe, she says, keep, just quarter the onions, chunk them up, but keep the skin on. Now what I did, a little extra tip is, I cut these early because when we expose these to the air for about five or 10 minutes, actually it activates the cancer-fighting compounds. So that's a little tip you can add, but keep those skins on. Look how easy that is, just chunked up. Same thing with garlic, Bar garlic cloves, but keep the skin on. Same thing, all I did was I simply crushed them a little bit and let them get exposed to the air before I put them into the stock pot. Leeks, one leek. This is where, make sure if you're um, using the green part, and she recommends to use the green part, but you really got to get in there and clean out the different levels. A lot of nice little things like to hide in there. Who wouldn't? It's so good for us. Okay, half of a... Just a nice bunch of parsley, throw that right in. And now I'm going to add a little celery, one bunch of celery. All of that in there nicely. Now, what about spices and seasoning? I'm going to add something called kombu. Well, I couldn't find kombu in the store, but basically we're just looking for a little Japanese seaweed. So you can buy that at Whole Foods, uh, any uh, Asian store. Most major supermarkets carry it, but a nice substitute is dolce or wakame, and so that's what I'm using today, the dolce. What does this provide? Well, it provides a nice hit of minerals, but it also gives me that umami flavor in my broth, this vegetable broth. So that gives that savoriness. 
I'm going to add a couple of bay leaves. It says 12 peppercorns. So I'm going to follow that. If I was making it just for me, I might spice it up a little more, but I'm following the recipe today, right to the T. Except this, five allspice um, berries. It was hard. I looked all over, couldn't find allspice berries. So if you want to make this, you can do a couple things. You can use ground allspice. About one teaspoon equals about five berries. Or if you don't have allspice, just make, make, um, mix equal parts clove, cinnamon, nutmeg, and black pepper. And I'm going to sprinkle that in. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add enough water to cover all these vegetables. So I'm a tiny bit short on my water, so I'll, I'll finish. What I want to do is I want to make sure I cover all the vegetables up to just a couple inches below the top of the pan. I'm going to put a lid on it, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. And once it starts to boil, I'm going to turn it way down and just let it simmer. How long? Two to three hours. Now, you want to make sure you go back every half hour, 45 minutes, or hour, or whatever, and taste it. So you can season it accordingly. Do you need, oh, we already put the bay leaves in, but you might want a little more flavoring, a little more pepper, maybe a little more allspice. Does it need more garlic? That's part of making this stock, is that you decide how to make it your own. It's going to simmer once it's done. It's very easy. I'm simply going to strain it through a nice uh, mesh strainer. And what I like to do, I like to store this in glass jars. And I usually store just enough for maybe two to four servings. Um, do it, make it your own, more or less. Uh, you can use BPA plastic, uh, BPA free plastic to store as well. Put it in your freezer. It stores up to six months in your freezer. Make sure you mark it with the date. And then I pull it out as needed. Now, this stock is delicious on its own. Again, it's great for those in treatment who aren't eating a lot. It's just nurturing on the stomach. It's great for caregivers. You need to take care of yourself as well. And it's also a great base for other soups. So if you'd like a little more information about this recipe and Rebecca Katz books, go to touchbycancer.org slash healthy minute and check it out.